So how do you feed 500 kids three times a week? And to ensure that you get notified of our future adventures, please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon and you'll get notified. Thank you very much to our patrons. It's your support that makes these videos possible. You need a shitload of gas, one crazy person to get it all done. You need helping hands that care. Another part of the recipe to feed um, 500 children three times a week is buying them food, supporting them, donating money. So the Phyllis and Four Wheels team um, decided to donate some of our money that we raised and we bought soup, we bought a lot of money, toilet paper, cleaning liquids, soya, spices, very important salt to, to help feed the children of Tala Loka. Let's go and deliver it now. Part of Tola Loka that we're going to go to, you'll see where people are still living in their shanties. And so we'll go to that spot as well, which is right next to the tents. It's like half a kilometer away. Okay. So there's Tola Loka still is still around. So but we don't it's just want to. Uh, 127 shacks exactly, I think. But then they had a second fire where 57 shacks got burned down. So so when, when the fire happened in July last year, it was probably the 25th or somewhere around there. Then, then we stepped in and, and, and gave sop every day. Yeah, because then the, the people were just sitting around, they had nothing, and then we just got into climbed in and started helping every day. Um, and then the second fire happened, and then of course we were there again every day for a little bit, a couple of weeks, and then it's now it's back to three times a week. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So once all the food was prepared, it was time to load it up and get it delivered as quickly as possible. Oh, before we go to before we go to the township, so we do three feeding places every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So it's Naraval, uh, tents that got you know the, mm -hmm. the, the shacks that got burned down plus Twaraloka. Okay. Three feeding stations. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough for the township, so. It was an amazing experience to spend time with the kids of Naraval and Twala Lok, seeing how appreciative they were of the food and how in desperate need it was. It's a great way to invest in a country that offers so much for us as visitors. So thankful for her. She even knows my name, Asnat. <laughs> Asnat. No, but Asnat has been helping us for a couple of months now. Oh, yes. It makes it so much easier if we have, you know, like a solid, oh. solid person here that hands out the food and we know that it's getting handed out. Yes. And then we yes. hang around and watch and check. And sometimes I go to yes. the other point and come back. Yes. But she's been really loyal to us. Thank you. Oh, Amen. Thank you. Thank you. So we are so blessed here. Yes. Stay very small. Slowly, 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 there's another big pot. Wait. Honestly, the only way that we can run task is to get donations in from the public or the private sector. So the way that this project can keep running is to get money in. So please, if you can help me in any way, whether it's buying food or sending money or following me on Facebook and sharing my posts, please do so. You can donate. Go gogetfunding.com slash task slash or send me a message on social media and contact me for any donations. Thank you very much. Without you, task will not be happening.